We've been on a great run since the last video. We've really turned our season around and now we're just 90 minutes away from the third round of the FA Cup. Can we beat bottom of League 2 Port Vale in today's episode of Walks to the FA Cup? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 26 of the Kingsling Walks to Prem Save here on Football Manager 2020. And just before we do get into the video, if I could ask all you boys and girls for an early Christmas present, if you could pop a thumbs up down below, that would really help the channel out, helps us out with the algorithm, it helps to get more eyes on the channel. So that would be amazing if you could all go and do that down below. But now, into the video. We have got Port Vale today in the FA Cup second round. They are really struggling in League 2. We'll go and have a look at how they've been getting on lately in a second. But yeah, this could be a great chance to get us into the third round of the FA Cup. And then hopefully get a big Premier League team down to the walks. That would be amazing. And as well as that, we are starting off on the club info screen because look at these beautiful uh, kits we've had made by Request a Kit. Very awesome kit creator over on Twitter. I'll put his link down below so you can go and check him out and go and check out his stuff and ask for some of your own, for your own FM saves. But yeah, they're very nice. I put Subway as the sponsor on them because as a few of you will know, I used to work in the Subway right opposite the walks. So I thought that made good sense. I've been over the road. I've been and spoken to me old boss and they've agreed to sponsor us for a season or two. So yeah, I quite like that. Them kits are very, very nice. And so, yep. Yeah, as well as that, we've got some other big news as well that I will get into after we've been through our results of the last few games. And you was last with me for the game against Bradford PA. Very nice 3-1 win in that game. If you've not seen it, go back and watch it on the last video. And as well as that, since then, we've played Brackley and we was very, very lucky to get a win there. Joseph Fitchett off the bench, the youngster, was our hero as he got us a 1-0 win in the dying moments of the game. So that was a decent result, but we really should have played better. And then after that, it was another 1-0 win. This time, Adam Marriott with the goal after half an hour. We didn't really kick on. Solihull Moors didn't really challenge us all that much. So that was a very nice result. Adam Marriott is still a goal-scoring machine at this level. But then after that came our one defeat since we was last together. It was a 2-0 defeat against Southport in the league. Where was Southport in the league? Yeah, they're 20th. So this is a game we really should have won. That looks a very nice summery day there whenever they took that photo. That looks beautiful there. Oh, But anyway, yep. It was a beautiful result for them, not so much for us. 2-0 defeat, we just never, ever got going. I think a little bit of tiredness came into it after the Solihull Moors game, possibly. So, yeah, disappointing result there. But then we played Solihull Moors again, this time in the FA Cup. And this game I should have brought to you because there was so much drama in this game. But... You know what it's like when you're getting into a swing of an FM session. I just wanted to keep on playing. And so I, and also, I thought, we're not going to win it. We're not, we're not going to get through again. So I thought I'd just play through it. But then we did win it. When we won it on penalties, Adam Marriott gave us the lead in the second minute. And we held on until the 84th minute to, get, to be equalised against... And then, yep, yeah, nothing happened in extra time. And then it went to penalties and we thankfully won it on there to set up today's game versus Port Vale. But then since then, we've beaten Stafford two goals to one. Romain Mundell and Adam Marriott with both the goals in the first half after we had gone behind in the fifth minute. So nice little turnaround there. 
decent performance and yeah we just can't lose at the minute to be honest apart from the Southport game but yeah only one defeat since we was last together and then a nil nil draw against Geisley bit of a nothing game nothing really happened to be honest and yeah we've not been scoring that many goals but we've not been conceding too many either so I'm fairly happy with how things are going and then Farsley in the league, we beat them 1-0. That man, again, Adam Marriott in the 29th minute. How many goals is Marriott on now? He is on 24 goals from 28 starts. So an absolutely brilliant return once again from him. I think he's beaten his record from a couple of years ago already. Yes, he has. 21 goals he got two years ago. He got 40 last year. Can he beat, can he beat, and actually no, how many was it he got? 45, sorry, in all competitions last year. And so he's on 24 this year. He might be able to beat that 45. You never know. And anyway, yep, we played Lancaster in the FA Trophy. We went pretty much full strength and we got a 1-0 win just right at the depth. And then we played Hales Owen in the last league game. 1-1 one, one draw. Adam Marriott, as always, with the goal. And Thomas Richardson had given them the lead. And Diaz Wright missed a penalty. So our league position would be even better if Diaz Wright had scored that penalty. And that takes us into our game against Port Vale today. And if we just have a look at their latest results. They've lost to Bradford. They've lost to Cheltenham. They've not won many games in the league of late. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Jesus. We are never going to have a better chance to get into the third round of the FA Cup. How many games have they won all season? Just the one in the league. Oh, we've got a chance. We have got a chance, boys and girls. Oh, ho, ho. Alright then, so with that out of the way, the big, big news as well. Club Vision, we've got a new contract. I asked for a new contract and we was on such a good run of form that the board just do whatever I want. All we've got to do is win four or five games in a row and the board will give us a new contract. So yep, I should be here now until the end of next season. Even if we don't get promoted by winning the league, which, uh, which I'll show you the league. It's looking like it might not happen because let's get this up big. We are eight points behind Solihull Moors and they've got a game in hand on us. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be tough, but you never, ever know. But at least we've got that little bit of security now where we might be here until the end of next season. And so, oh, I've just seen that stat. Chances created. We are top of the league. Oh, I like that. Oh. Okay, I'm feeling confident for this game now. Come on, Kingsley. Let's go and get into the game and get into the team for today's game. Okay, this is the team for today's game. We've got Herbin in goal, Wilson, Young, Jones and Wardrop as our back four. Embala, Wright, Simmons, Brown in the midfield. And then up top, it's Mundell and Marriott. It's a very, very settled team at the minute. They're playing well. No need to change it. And I'm feeling so confident for this game. Let's get into it. As you might expect, despite being bottom of their league, Port Vale are the favourites for the game. But we are in much, much better form. So I think we've got a chance to upset the bookies here. Here we are in the away dressing room at Port Vale. Let's go and motivate the lads. Let's say we've been on a good run lately. Couple people motivated. We should be able to get a few more, hopefully. And please, let's get Marriott motivated. He is. So hopefully he's going to score today. Now, prediction time. What do you predict for a game like this? 2-1. Uh, 2-1 one. One to us, I think it's going to be. I am feeling confident. Let's come on, you Leonards. Two and a half minutes in. First highlight of the game. Port Vale with the ball. Gibbons goes to Crooks. He goes into James Corden. Into Gibbons. Corden. I'm, I'm pretty sure his name isn't James, but I just thought that was funny. As we head the ball away, Brown now gets past his man, does he? 
He, oh, he almost does, but Mundell gets the ball. Marriott to right. And we are keeping the ball so nicely. Simmons is in. Simmons is in. And it's a save there from their keeper. And it's an empty stand behind Port Vale there. Their fans obviously not wanting to show up. As now Mbala with the corner. And easy enough for Sana to catch. 18 minutes in now. It's us with the ball once again. And Young plays it to absolutely nobody in the blue shirt. And Port Vale have the ball back. And they're coming forward with it. Just about to pass over the halfway line as they do. But we get it back. Mundell got, gets the ball out wide to right to Mbala. He swings it out wide. And again, why are people playing it there? George Brown is not there. But eventually he does get the ball. Goes to Marriott. And Marriott plays it wide to Brown. And Brown, can he cross the ball into the box? He does, but he gets headed away. Hurst with it. Now, come on, win the ball back, people. And we do. Wardrop, again, out wide. And this time it's to Mbala. Mbala's into the box. He's tried to cross it, and that was a poor decision there. And it's all back and forth. Something has got to happen soon, as oh, I think this is going to be it. Emmanuelso with the shot, and it's wide. Oh, ho, ho, we survive. For a minute. Immediately following that. Highlights thick and fast in this game. Port Vale are trying to find some confidence. As we get the ball back. Brown tight on the, on the wing. He's running past his man. He should have crossed it there. What is he trying to do? Eventually he, he does get it into the box. Goes to Mundell. Mundell's in space. And we lead. We lead in the FA Cup second round versus Port Vale. What a very nice goal there from Mundell. Very nicely taken for his fifth of this season. George Brown eventually did a decent job of getting the ball into the box. It was headed away and then Mundell took one touch and his second touch put the ball into the back of the net. 1-0 Kings Lynn. Maybe just one more highlight before the half-time whistle. As Hurst wins the ball back for Port Vale, crosses it into the box and oh, ho, ho, we're still ahead. We are still ahead, boys. And that is half-time. Port Vale, unlucky to be behind, I think you can say. They've had seven shots, two are three. Three on target, two are two. But we have dominated the possession as we do like to do. And so let's get into the dressing room once again. And let's go passionate. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Or I'm happy with your performance. I'm happy with your performance, that's what I'm going to say. And they're all delighted. Okay, so now just hold on, please. Just 45 minutes until we get to a hist history-making game for the club. First highlight of the second half. Wardrop with the ball goes to Simmons. Wardrop crosses it in. And they head it away. Only goes as far as Simmons. To Diaz right with a shot. And Barla. And oh, 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 trickled wide. That far wide. 65 minutes gone, Mbala with a free kick, crosses it in and right with the header. And that was an incorrect header from Mr. Wright there. 20 minutes left to go in the game, just the one change being made. Joseph Fitchett is coming on for George Brown. Let's hope he can, he can recreate his heroics from the other week and get us a second goal to really wrap this game up. Herbin with the goal kick for us, goes to Wilson, too young. To right, to Wilson. And Wilson, can he play it forward? He does. Goes to Mbala. He's got Mundell and Marriott just by the side of him. But I think he's going to try and take it on himself. He goes for the shot. And that was very, very poor from Mbala there. Just over 10 minutes remaining. We've got another chance here. And our header has gone over the bar once again from Diaz right. Just over six minutes left. Just making the one change. Estrada coming on for Diaz right, just to waste a little bit of time, just to try and see this game out. Two minutes left of normal time, Wilson with a throw in, goes to Estrada, can he get the ball into the box? No he doesn't, Crankshaw wins it back, oh no, this is, this is going to be the equaliser isn't it? This is going to be the equaliser, Stevens with the ball, he's past his man, he's into the box, he's gone for the shot and it's wide. Ho, 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 ho. Sounded a bit like, like Father Christmas there, didn't I? 
And there it is. There it is, boys. 1-0 win. We are in the third round of the FA Cup for the first time in the club's history. Oh, my days. This is amazing. Yes. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Let's go passionate. Uh, that was really special, lads. And let's have a look at the match stats, actually. I forgot that. Uh, they had 12 shots, 2 are 13. 5 on target, 2 are 4. And we dominated the possession. So, we've, he we've held it with the worst team in League 2. So, we should do alright if we do get promoted next season. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that performance. We made it look comfortable. Port Vale are very low on confidence and we're very high on confidence. So, that probably helped. But let's go and have a look and see when the draw for the FA Cup third round is going to be. And who we are going to get. It's there. It's in two days time. So we are going to do that. I'll be back with you guys in a second for that. Okay, here we go guys. FA Cup third round draw day. One of the best days in England's footballing calendar. Anything could happen. We're going to do this as an automatic draw, so we see who everyone else gets, and then we'll see, obviously, who we get. And I am I am dying for a big Premier League team. Imagine getting like someone like Man United down at the walks. That would be quite awesome. So, let's go. Actually, before we start this, pause this video and comment down below who you think we're going to get. And I'll do a prediction as well. I think we're going to get a mid-table championship team. Maybe a Brentford, a Birmingham, a Charlton, maybe something like that. Uh, if I'm going to choose one, I'm going to choose Birmingham. That's who I think we're going to get. And so, first name out of the hat is Peter Boer. Wouldn't mind them. Oh, against South End. Oh, <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got to pause this. Okay, so I've got to explain the South End logo. Uh, I've changed that to the Passion for FM logo, as you can see, because in my other database, in the other series, which I am going to be bringing you, uh, we've taken over South End and renamed them Passion for FM United. So that's why their logo is like that. So anyway, that's that explained, and let's carry on. Swansea have got settled Wednesday. Arsenal, us, us, us. Oh, Arsenal against Chelsea. Leeds against Wigan. Ooh. Colchester at home to Southampton. Southampton are in the championship. Oh, Blackburn versus Middlesbrough. Barnsley, wouldn't mind them. Against Cholton. Oh, Newcastle against Derby. Oh. No, no non-league teams yet. Man United versus Coventry. There goes the dream of United. Northampton versus Norwich. Oxford versus Yeovil. Ooh. We're going to come out really late, aren't we? West Brom versus Brentford. Birmingham still on. My prediction is still possible. And Wolves versus Cheltenham. Ooh. Stoke are at home to Ipswich. Salford are at home to Torquay. Birmingham against Cardiff. Oh, so close to being right, I think. Rotherham versus Manchester City. That's a good draw for Rotherham. Watford versus Preston. Ooh. Newport County. Us, us, us. That would be amazing. Oh. Fulham it is. Sheffield United versus Leicester. Tranmere versus... West Ham, oh, come on you Irons. Us, we're at home, we're at home. And we've got, oh, Bristol City. Oh, that's disappointing. That is very disappointing. We're at home, but we've not got a big, big team. I'm not sure how much that's going to help us with the finances, to be honest. Mm. If you think it will, let me know down below. Finances at the minute. We are on £666,000, the devil's money. And so, yeah, mm, was kind of open for a big Premier League team. 
But, oh well, we'll draw all the rest. And, okay guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below to celebrate us being in the third round of the FA Cup. Subscribe for more Football Manager content just like this. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and check out the awesome lads at Passion for FM. Some very, very good content creators in our little team we've got there. Go and check them all out and check the website out for guides, resources, downloads, a lot of good stuff on the Passion for FM website. And join the Discord, the Twitter and the Facebook page as well. All the details as ever down below. So go and check it all out. And yep guys, that is all for today. And just before we do finish, not quite sure what content is going to look like this week. Going to try and get a video out tomorrow as well. I'm hoping to get this one out on Monday. If I get this one out today, Monday, then there should be one tomorrow on Tuesday. But then might have to be Friday for the next episode. I'm not sure. So follow me on Twitter, like I said. And that's where you'll hear first about content. And so, yeah, that's enough of me wabbling on. And, yep, guys, we're in the FA Cup third round. Woohoo!